Hi, this is Richard Byrne. In this video, we're going to take a look at Note Anywhere, which is a nice little Chrome extension for adding sticky notes to just about any web page that you find. Uh, I have to give a shout out here to Andy Oren from Lifehacker for writing about this last week, and I tweeted it out, and people seem to love it, and I just wanted to make a little video about it now. So let's go ahead and look at the extension. We're going to add it to Chrome. And of course, we'll have that little icon up here in the upper right corner now in my browser. And let's say I'm looking at a website that I'm going to use with my students. In this case, it's an article or a, a document from the Avalon Project, which I use a lot with my history students. Uh, it has a lot of great primary sources in it. Uh, perhaps I'll click on this one and uh, we'll click there. And I want to add a little note to this page for myself. So this is a note that only I will see, my students won't see it, and say, remember to ask students to make comparisons with today's attitudes about immigration. And I can move this note around if I want to, put it up there so it's not covering the text. Now again, I'm the only one that sees this. My students won't see this note. Uh, there isn't a way for me to share this note with my students. That's pretty much how this works. That's about all there is to it. It's a quick, handy, easy little way to add a sticky note on top of your page. Now, there are some sites where it won't work as it should. Uh, those tend to be sites that are much more uh, dynamic and don't have a lot of static text on them. For example, here I have this Thrively for Classrooms, and you can see there's a lot of motion in the background. Uh, if I try to click on it now, the sticky note option does not work for me uh, on the Thrively page. Uh, just the nature of that particular page it doesn't work on there. But uh, Otherwise, great for static web pages for things like what I just did here with this Avalon project document. For more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com.